Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and I am back doing some more testing with solder and drone uh, swarms. Because it's quite interesting to play around with drone swarms and see what's happening. So I've modified my ship based on something that me and uh, sorry, sorry, that Matthias was talking to me about, and he suggested that potentially on the last video I didn't get an attack on my door from the swarm because my ship was relatively new. So I've had a play around with the settings and the save file and I've actually managed to put an age on my ship now. So if we just check here, you'll see that my um, age is now 250, making it a volatile ship. <coughs> Excuse me. So first of all, I want to test something real quick. As you can see, my most in there, A2 is failing. So I just wanted to test the solder on um, A2 to make sure that it uh, actually seals it and stops that integrity from failing. So, solder A2. And yeah, pretty much that has now stopped the airlock from failing. Although, will it? Let's, let's see what happens here. Because it still says that it's going to be, it's going to fail in 30 seconds. So, let's see whether or not we get a vacuum. Because interestingly, it's still showing as red. Nope, there you go. So, the solder module actually just puts it in a state where it just doesn't respond. So, yeah, that would be pretty helpful. Unfortunately, um, <coughs> with Solder, LB did some more digging around and found a Reddit post from the um, Misfits Attic, the developers of Duskers, and they said that the they haven't put Solder in the game because it didn't quite have enough um, what they were looking for, they said, I think, something along those lines. So you're not going to be able to find Solder in the game, unfortunately. But nonetheless, I still want to play around, and I'm going to continue the experiment here. So what I've done is I've set up, um, I've actually got a swarm in R3. So I now want to see whether or not I can get it to attack the door, um, just to test the theory that um, the um, solder would prevent a swarm from breaking through. And also to the, on the theory that um, swarms go for lures on the opposite side of doors. So um, I'll leave running in the background. We'll see what happens. And um, I'll be back shortly. OK, so it must have been only about two, maybe three minutes in total since I stopped the previous part of the recording. And the door is being attacked. D20 is being attacked. So yeah. That's quite interesting indeed. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to solder that door and we're going to see what happens. So um, let's jump back to the game. And we're going to solder uh, D20. So that instantly stops that door from being attacked and flashing. And um, Yeah, I mean, there isn't actually much else going on there at the moment. I will say, originally though, I, I had the swarm in R7, and I would placed my lure in R5, and now the, the lure was there for probably about five minutes, and nothing happened. So I wonder if there's a... There probably is like an age thing as well, but I wonder also if there's a higher chance of the swarm being attacked, uh, sorry, the swarm attacking the door, if the swarm is in a smaller, more confined room. And we can probably test that theory by, we could move a swarm from R4, that I know is on R4, into R5, and then see if, anything happens from there. So let's go ahead and set that up, shall we? So 
So we're going to open a D30, and that should let the swarm in. Which it does. So we, we could potentially test two different things here. We could first of all test to see if we have no layers here, how long it would take the swarm to start attacking the door. So maybe we'll run with that. Um, so first off, we will leave, we'll have no swarm, no lure down, but we will, um, so stop saying that, come on. We'll have no, no lure down, and we'll leave it for 10, 15 minutes, see what happens. Um, and if they don't attack in that time, I'll come back and I'll place a lure down. So, um, yeah, I'll be back again real soon, guys. Okay, so as you can probably see, uh, I've been sat here for um, the best part of a little more than actually, sorry, 15 minutes. It was 12.35 when I started, and it's now 27.53. Um, in that time, I've only had video signals fail, and I did decide to solder all the doors around R3. Um, I tested out a theory of whether or not, you, if it was in the game, of course, whether or not you'd be able to solder more than one door at a time, which you can't, unfortunately. I also tried soldering a room, which doesn't work either. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna drop the lure. Um, let's drop it here. Time. So we're at 28.50 and we'll now wait to see if and how long it takes the swarm to start attacking the door. So I'll be back as when that happens. Okay, so we have had a door attack and the time is at 32.52, so about four minutes after we drop that lure. Um, Sold that just so they can't get through. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. Four minutes. So, I'm actually going to do another test right here just to see whether or not the same thing happens again and see if it's roughly the same time. So, hopefully, I don't think there's any swarms in here. If there is, then rip me. I gotta do it like this then. Uh, D28, D13, now one, R4. Let me just make sure that drone is not, that swarm is not attacking that. Doesn't look like it is. Excellent. So, D13, and I'm going to drive it over to the door, hopefully. Sorry if my microphone is a little bit quiet, guys. I'm kind of like facing away from my microphone a little bit, so that's why it's probably a little bit weird. I mean, this is a really big room. Driving a drone blind. All right, so I'm going to now I'm going to clear, and then we're going to do the same again, and we're going to sit and wait again. So let us begin waiting. Well, okay, that didn't take hardly any time at all. Um, if I show you. There we go. It took literally 22 seconds. So just, there could be a hole breach any time because we just got the notification. So it does seem that that theory is very valid, but there doesn't look like there is a, that's right. It doesn't seem like there is a constant to it. I mean, we can certainly test it one more time. So we can do um, D13. Now have one, R6, uh, pick up one. So let's pick up this lure from here. 
and we can put a lure in our 13. Okay, so we have more activity here, and I think, I can't, because I don't remember checking, I think I have checked out as well, briefly. Um, I think something may have just spawned from a vent, because D19 is now being attacked. But, again, it's potentially attacking um, for the lure in R4. Again, let's wait some more and see what happens. Okay guys, so we are almost at 10 minutes since our last um, attack, and nothing's happened, weirdly. Um, at, as you can probably see from my log, uh, console log here, at um, two minutes in, just a bit, about two minutes in, I changed things up, I removed the lure from R4, because I kind of wondered whether or not there would be some conflict of interest there with there being two lures and the swarm would kind of like, wouldn't know which door to attack. Um, so yeah, I removed the lure from R4 um, on the off chance that that would happen. But um, yeah, it's really not been interested in this lure in R13. So it seems like there isn't an exact science here as to A, whether or not it attacks the lure and B the time it takes to attack the lure. Uh, I mean, I could do some more testing. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time for today. Um, it's now been 10 minutes since we last did this. Um, weirdly enough, as well, you can probably see in um, a little bit up, I've never seen this before, but the derelict is no longer responding to the close command. Now, you can close individual doors, but you can't use the close all command. Um, or I, I don't know if close is actually a command, but uh, yeah, you can't use that. I've never seen that before. So I found that um, quite interesting indeed. I apologize as well, there's no sound. I started Sony Vegas while I was waiting and um, to, to try and um, edit this video together rather than uploading about seven different videos to YouTube and doing it that way. And then it kind of knocks my sound off on some games and Duskers is clearly one of them. So yeah, unfortunately no sound, but um, so yeah, interestingly, um, it would seem that we have discovered um, that doesn't necessarily happen at a given time, and it doesn't necessarily happen at all, it would seem. So yeah, interesting discovery. Um, definitely something worth playing with um, a little bit more. I would say. Um, but yeah, actually, hold on. I just want to check this. Because I was I was testing this theory, I was testing this close thing on, on the airlock. Uh, I guess the airlock probably is always going to open. I actually can't escape the ship. I wonder if I can close... Close D7. No, I can't. All right, so you can close airlocks, but you can't close other doors. Wow, that's um, interesting. That's kind of where solder would come in handy, I guess. Solder D7. Yeah, that's where solder would come in handy, but clearly it's not a, um, it's not something we can use in game or it's even in the game. So what can we take from this, guys? Um, well, first of all, we tested the theory about solder. If solder was in the game, yes, you could use it to seal off a room to prevent a drone swarm from breaking down a door. You can also use it to seal a deteriorating um, airlock, uh, which would have been very, very useful. Uh, however, like I said, that both of those features um, won't be any use for anybody because Solder's not actively in the game. And 
It seems that Allure does make a drone swarm more likely to attack a door, although it's not guaranteed. There's still a percentage chance um, that it won't, it would seem. Um, but yeah, if it does, then you know it's not on a given time frame. There's not like a given period. We've seen a four minute period. We've seen like literally within seconds uh, an attack on the door. Um, so yeah, uh, I could probably do some more testing uh, to see you know whether or not um, in another situation, whether or not it would definitely attack a door. Um, let me know your theories, guys, down below. Uh, whether you found anything interesting, if you can add to the discussion. And if you want me to test anything else, please let me know. I'm trying to help Dan um, with like the, the uh, test kitchen. So, um, yeah, I don't want to take Dan's limelight at all, but just trying to help out with the swarm. I know Dan's been doing a lot with slime. So, yeah. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.